tonight we're at the Sports Los Angeles Hall of Fame and your father's being inducted. How yes, does that yeah. feel? It feels wonderful. It feels wonderful. It's, uh, you know, showing awareness about uh, athletes from the past, uh, it really makes you feel good. It's family members. That's wonderful. And did you take after your father in tennis? No, not really. I had uh, a lot of experience watching him play, and, and uh, to me it seemed like it was a little more involved than I wanted to get to emotionally. And uh, it had a, a, oh, a kind of a, a different effect on him that I thought might transfer to me if I started playing. So I wanted to try to avoid that because you were, uh, he was the person I believe that was put on the planet to do what he did in regards to tennis. And uh, that takes quite, a, quite a, uh, an emotional and a personal involvement. I just didn't want to sacrifice you know, other things to get to where we did play and win some national father and son titles. And that was enough experience for me in terms of the competition. And what was one of your favorite memories of your father playing? Well, um, gosh. I can't, I can't really right now think about it. In terms of us playing together, it was our first national and father and son indoor uh, tournament that we played in Houston, Texas. Um, it was just an excitement for me that I had never experienced before. And to see dad is excited and uh, you know grateful to be able to, at his age then, still be able to go out and play competitive tennis was an, an enjoyment for him. So I think that was probably one of the most uh, enjoyable experiences that I had. That's amazing and you both are starting a foundation. Will you tell us a little bit about that? Well the family started the foundation about three years ago and it's to pr promote tennis amongst Hispanic kids and minority kids or any kids really that haven't been exposed to the sport and so we've been doing that for about three years and we're having a whole lot of fun doing it. And, and how can, yeah, go ahead. And how can people get involved? Well they can contact us at the Poncho Foundation uh, website and they can email me at greg at ponchofoundation.org and we'd be happy to answer any questions for them, tell them a little bit about the foundation and some of the exciting things that are going on. Um, this October, we're very fortunate that uh, we're going to have a big event at Cal State LA and they're starting uh, construction of the uh, Poncho Gonzalez Rosie Casals uh, Tennis Center there. So this is a big, exciting year for us and there, there's a lot of good things going on and we're, all, we're very excited about all of them. Do you have a website? Yes, we do. It's ponchofoundation.org. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, and have a fun time tonight. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate it. If you get thank a chance, you. shoot us a clip. Oh, definitely. Send us a little clip, and good luck with everything. And um, in October, we're going to have a nice big event at Cal State with Rosie Casals, a former player. It's the Billie Jean King fundraiser, the 20th anniversary. We're going to have some young, top Hispanic kids out there uh, training. So if you want to come out for something like that, we're looking to promote what we're doing. So feel free to come out and join I'd us. I'd love to support and promote that. As a tennis okay. player, I'd yeah, love to be a part be of it. Fun. And my sister, sister as well. <laughs> <laughs> You're watching Maddie's Moments, and let's be your moment too. Bye.